I think people are perverts. I've maintained that. That's been, I, that's the foundation of my career. When you set out to make a movie, it doesn't happen exactly the way you have it in your head. There is this exploration, there is this evolution, there's this unfolding or, or revealing of the material. You need everybody to peak at the same time. Here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make strangers feel something at the same time. It's not only whether or not you have a great idea, but there's a moment in time where this can be something huge and don't miss it. You're trying to get everybody to be on the same page, everybody to be in the same movie, everybody to be in the same moment. And that's a lot of work. That's what you're doing. You're sculpting behavior over time. It's a very, very, very powerful medium. You're somebody, a group of people who are mostly strangers are sitting in the dark and they've given you access to their brains through their eyes and their ears for two hours, two and a half hours. That's a big responsibility, you know, and you have to, and to me, you know, directing is not so much what you want to see. On the day, it's about limiting all the stuff that you don't want to see. As soon as you take a camera out of its box and put a lens on it and, and everybody's in makeup and wardrobe, it's, I mean, it's an inherently fake thing. And you're just looking for clues and and ways to sort of dispel um, what audiences have become used to in terms of the presentation of ideas. You know, you're trying to sort of find new clues as to or ways to sort of blur the lines between um, between what is some, something that's so presentational and so um, silly in itself, and give it a little verisimilitude so that people can kind of connect it to them. I think the greatest thing that all filmmakers need to have is the ability to articulate your intention. Because if you can do that, and you're going to need to do it, you're going to need to do it with a screenwriter, you're going to need to be able to do it with a financier, you're going to need to be able to do it with every single actor that you're hoping to seduce to be part of your cast. Um, you're going to have to do it with the marketing people, you're gonna to have to do it with publicity. You're gonna to have to be able to explain why um, your film needs to be treated in a different way, why it needs to be understood that it's, that it's not. If anybody has interest in true crime, it's always, it's always that, right? It's always that thing that you can't quite touch, you can't quite get at it, you don't, you don't understand what makes them do what they do. Cinema is an inherently risky and exciting and imperfect and emotional uh, medium. And it has to include all of those things. As soon as you start limiting what it is that people can say through movies, you, you're kind of inherently uncinematic. The audience has to feel it. If they don't feel bad, if they don't feel horrible about violence, um, it's a problem. I think it's a problem for the movie. I don't, want to, I don't want violence in movies to be like that. I don't want it to be a joke. I want it, people to recoil from it and, and, and think it's awful. And how dictatorial is, is a David Fincher set? Um, I don't think it's dictatorial at all. I mean, I'll say this. If the movie is great, I'm going to get too much credit. And if the movie sucks, I'm going to get too much blame when the shit hits the fan, all of a sudden everybody scatters and you're, you're the guy standing there going, wait, who's got a suggestion now? So if I'm gonna take the blame, if I'm gonna take the brunt of it, I'm gonna make the decisions. I don't always have the best ideas. I'm not always right, but I'm always for the movie. I have to create an environment where they can do that and that may mean being unkind to, um, to get everybody's attention so that we understand it's not, we're not gonna save this in coverage. I'm not going to allow your hangover to influence how I'm gonna cut the scene. If you have four different actors in the movie yeah. and you sit with one of them mm -hmm. and watch the movie, right. you'll have a completely different view of that movie <laughs> than if you sit with one or the other. But I want to cut the scene the way I want to cut the scene. I want to cut the scene the way the story mandates, not somebody's comfort. 
more important than the, than the legal ability to be able to say, I don't have to listen to you, um, is the ability to say, I hear what you're saying, and I understand exactly what it is that you're saying, and it has no place in this film for the following reasons. Boop, boop, boop. I think people tend to be reasonable when you, if you can be supremely specific about what it is that you want to accomplish. I made a crucial error. I listened to the people who were paying for the movie, and they said, the way to go about this is not to work with your friends. The way to go about this is to work with people who've done this time and time and time again. And basically that translates into meet a lot of people who are going to resent you and your age and are not gonna wanna take instruction from you and allow them to tell you what you can't do. I try to kind of um, take everything that can go wrong <laughs> into account because something's going to go wrong on, on any given day. Um, but I don't also want to overthink something to the point where it's just uh, becomes sort of boring execution or you know checking off a list. Um, I want it to be communal and I want it to be and I want people to have an investment I want the actors and the cinematographer and the dolly grip and I want people to be invested in coming up with ways to make things more concise you know pe people who label other people perfectionists are probably just lazy